Pykrete sword test number two in three, two, one. Hey, I'm Alan Pan, and ever since I was a little kid, I've wanted to make a sword out of ice. I don't know why, I just think it'd be really, really cool. Now, you might think that ice would be an awesome material for a sword. After all, it can crush through chips, and it took down the Titanic. Ice is pretty hard, and it has a high compressive strength, which means it can take a lot of force pushing in on it without breaking. Ta-da! But ice is also brittle. It has a low tensile strength, which means it doesn't take a lot of force pulling out on ice to break it. In real life, a sword made of pure ice is probably just going to shatter the first time you try to hit something with it. <laughs> so to make my sword, I'm going to use pikrete instead of ice. So what's pikrete? Well, during World War II, inventor Jeffrey Pike came up with the idea to use a mixture of sawdust and ice as a cheap material to build aircraft carriers. Pikrete's much tougher than pure ice. It also melts much slower, and in some cases it can actually be bulletproof. Pikrete is an example of a composite material. Now, a composite material is when two or more different materials are mixed together to get the best properties of each. Pikrete gives you the hardness and compressive strength of ice, while the wood fibers and sawdust increase the tensile strength and decrease the brittleness. So this is my own recipe of pikrete. It's about 14% toilet paper and 86% water by weight. So why toilet paper? Well, sawdust makes the pikrete sort of a poo brown color, and toilet paper is already designed to be combined with water. And this is just regular ice. I'm going to test the impact resistance of both by stabbing this annoying orange. Regular ice. That actually works really well. I'm going to be testing the impact resistance of both with this hammer. Regular ice. Pikrete. Ooh, it's getting loud. And here's the Pikrete sword. The mold is made of cardboard and tape, just like the little mold for the test pikery. I coated the inside of the mold with a spray sealant to make it watertight, since it's too big for plastic wrap. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. So, bringing the sword out of the mold, you can see it's uh, just a flat edge here. Um, I didn't have anything in the mold to make it give the blade kind of a, a sharp edge, so I'm going to use this knife to just shave the ice to make this sort of blunt edge that you see here, just like this. I've got this duct tape doohickey here, and this turns on a set of LED lights inside the blade because you gotta put LEDs in everything. Uh, I thought it would diffuse more. They're really singular here, but it still looks pretty cool. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> it's surprisingly light. It's, uh, it's, it's got so much toilet paper in it that it's uh, really a lot lighter than you think this hunk of ice would be. So honestly, I think it's gonna just break right in half. <laughs> okay, pikrete sword, cutting through a watermelon. <laughs> Test number one, let's see if this even works. Um, hey Alex, why don't you move a little that way so that if it breaks, I don't want to okay, awesome. you get that? Three, two, one. <laughs> well, it didn't really cut, but the sword didn't break either. So I'm going to give that another try. I'm, I'm going to swing harder this time now that I believe in this sword. Pikrete sword test number two. In three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> 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 Let's try to cut more 
stuff. My sword! Oh. <laughs> Ice sword! Really thought the pop tab was gonna go. Ice sword! <laughs> That's messed up, man. That snowman looked so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I have to go back to Los Angeles now. So I'm gonna have to leave Ice Sword behind. <laughs> but before I do, I'm gonna cut off this snowman's head. <sighs> Goodbye, Ice Sword!